Hi. So let's pick up another problem on strings. Uh, hopefully that will make things a little more clear, right? So not very hard problem. Basically what we want to do is we are given a string. And whenever you have pi, right, small p and followed by small i, I want to replace that with 3.14. So if you give me a, b, c, pi, d, e, f, pi, then what's going to happen? I'm going to replace that with 3.14, d, e, f, 3.14, 3.14, p, 3.14. That's what the output should be. That's what we need to do. Okay, so uh, that's what we need to do. Uh, it's basically very similar to the replace character one that we have seen. Now what you need to do is, I think the base case will be a little different. If the length is zero or the length is one, you return the same string. Nothing needs to change. Because a single length string cannot have pi in it. Okay, so your string now has minimum two length. Okay, so what we need to do is, we'll check if the first character and the second character is pi. Then we need to remove this and make it 3.14 and rest of it can go into recursion. Rest of it can go into recursion. In case the first two characters are not pi, I think we should just remove the first character and call recursion on rest of it. For example, it's possible that you have a string like this. Now the first two characters are not pi, but if you remove if you remove two characters, that'll be a problem. So you need to remove only one character and call ahead. But in case the first two characters are pi, then you can just remove these two and replace them with 3.14. Okay, so that's what we need to code. Let's do it. Replace pi, you want to get only one string. Okay, so if length of s equal equal zero or length of s equal equal one, we need to return s. If so, this is basically your base case. Now, base case is done. So, now I need to look at the zeroth and the first character so if s of zero and i'm not worried about looking at the first two characters because i know the length will be minimum two it's not zero it's not one so the length has to be minimum two so you can check the zeroth and the first index you will not get an error so if for s of zero is equal to p and s of one is equal to i that basically means you are starting with the pi I'm going to find the small output. Small output will be replace pi. And in this case, I want to remove the first two characters, not the one character, two characters. So I am passing starting from two till the end. And then I can return 3.14 plus small output. Right. Else, if the first two are not pi, I need to get the small output, but this time I can't remove two characters, I need to remove only one character. And then whatever is the small output, I need to attach that first character again into it and return. Right? So let's say you have d pi d, then here you call on pi d, whatever return you get, you attach d in front of it. So the small output will be this, right? So you attach d in front of it and then return. Let's try it out. Let's call reverse pi on a, b, c, d, nothing should change. Let's call it on pi, it's making it 3.14, let's do this, it's making it 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3.14, 3
that's perfect this should also work this is also working so seems like this is also fine right this is uh, this is i think perfect code works absolutely uh, absolutely fine and i hope you understand how did we decide whether to pass whether to remove one character or two characters and then we worked accordingly okay perfect thank you